John here guys and today we have this a can of Roma tomatoes and this is the new diatone Roma 5 inch freestyle quad and today we're going to discover which one of these two is the juiciest well guys at last diatone has released a 5 inch freestyle quad now in the pre-made drone market bind and fly market diatone has really been dominating these past few years but there is one market segment that they have not quite reached domination status and that is the five inch freestyle in that regard companies like iFlight with the Nazgul companies like Emacs with the Buzz and other ones have really dominated this space yes Daytona has had some good offerings but they haven't really been a leader well this release attempts to change that they are like daniel plainview and there will be blood even though they own the micro markets the cinnamon markets the little racing market on these little two and three inch cube things they're like why don't i own this market segment and what's this why don't i own this why don't i own this and they want to own this and my goodness i didn't think anything could really eclipse the value for the dollar that you get with the iflight nazgul but this really attempts to give you a little bit more for around the same price point which is well under 200 dollars um getting components such as this and a price this low is are you really ever going to need to build a quad if you just don't want to because this is premium all around let's take the top plate off so we can take a look under here this comes with the 50 amp diatone version of their stack this is actually the dji edition of the stack now let me tell you why that's notable this is the analog version but there's also a dji version and because diatone makes everything in here through economies of scale they can use this very expensive stack i believe it's like 75 bucks for all of the quads and what does that mean for you? That means if you ever want to switch this over to the DJI system, it actually includes a plug in the box. You just plug it into this DJI port and solder up four hour, solder up four wires and you're ready to go digital. So this is really expandable later on. Um, I got the new receiver version and added my own Crossfire receiver. There's plenty of room in there. This um, Diatone often uses Team Black Sheep's um, video transmitters, but this time they've come up with their own. It's really quite a nice looking VTX in there. And as you can see, it has that little plug screwed down, kind of copying what TBS does. Um, look at all of the protection, the arm protection, the front cage. It has a metal front cage and it has protection on that cage for your camera. My goodness. Um, in addition to the metal front cage, it has plastic uh, bumpers for the front cage. So there's like multi-level protection for your front camera, for your motors. These um, landing pads or these motor protectors also act as landing pads. You can see the little skid things on the bottom. In addition to that, you have these optional side things here that will keep grass and other debris out of your stack, keeping your electronics very clean. That is something new. It just pops on and off. I left one side on, one side off. You also get a full set of all of this plastic in black. So if you don't want this white colorway, you can switch all of it to black or you can switch only certain pieces it's just incredible i really love what they've done right here with this battery um cable holder that really offers you some security so you won't ever rip these battery leads off they've done a great job soldering the whole thing up look at the capacitor that's zip tied right here i mean the build is beautiful that they deliver to you it comes with a white colored run cam phoenix 2 that is one of the best cameras on the market right now and so you really get top to bottom everything um, this is also a new motor for them check out these new mamba toka motors this is a 2207.5 huge nice freestyle motor 
and there's a 6s version and a 4s version i actually have the 4s version here it's a 2450 kb but through a throttle scale i'm going to show you how to do that you can actually run this motor on 6s or 4s so very versatile and check out the styling on these things my goodness it looks like an expensive car rim the little orangish accents in there with the gray bell oh man it's simply beautiful check out another first is right under the motor um, where sometimes your screws may touch the winding they put a plastic liner around the bottom of the motor mount and that's a first that i've seen that means that you're never going to have that screw touching the winding and risk burning up a motor or other pieces of electronics this is a super powerful stack they've done a trick that i do on some of my builds they've actually soldered the motors on the underside because this stack has pads on both the top and the bottom that really makes it look exceptionally clean when you look at it so how does it fly my goodness guys this flies amazing if you look at the top plate you have this little plastic mount that you can slap in there and that is what's going to allow you to hold a gopro i am going to fly this on my gopro hero 9 show you guys some packs on there it comes with battery pads it comes with so many spares and it comes with ethics s5 props that's right those are premium props sometimes in these bond flies you get just a random prop thrown in or no props at all um diatone is stepping it up they're giving you a premium expensive stack premium expensive motors premium expensive top of the line camera premium props that they've gotten from ethics my goodness i mean what the amount of spares in there the spare hardware spare plastics spare harnesses to be able to convert this over to digital easy spare screws spare zip ties i mean just buying this will replenish your m2 and m3 screw reserves for many other builds to come i just can't say enough good things about this diatone you are really going for that flagship bind and fly status and i just can't imagine being able to build something for under 200 dollars that's going to perform at this same level it's just next to impossible if you want to use components like this so i once again i don't know how they've done it i often say with the diatone cubes you can get those for like 100 120 bucks the little three inch things how can they include all of the top of the line stuff, top of the line video transmitter, top of the line everything, and the thing costs less than you could build it for. Same thing goes with this. Through economies of scale, you're getting this excellent price. Um, look at the antenna mounting on this thing, guys. I mean, you are going to get some exceptional reception by having it so far away from the quad. This is a beautiful 3D printed mount and i'm so stupid i actually realized that there is a crossfire mount back there that i could have put my crossfire antenna on and i'm going to go ahead and move that over what do you think of the comments guys is this enough to dethrone the current heavyweight champ of all bind and flies the iflight nazgul and my goodness i think it is um iflight kind of phoned it in with the nazgul too it is basically just a rehashing of the original nazgul i think it has the same motors it probably has a newer stack but the old one was just totally fine this offers you a couple of things in regards to styling in regards to protection in regards to components um scalability because this can so easily be converted to a digital setup in fact i'm probably going to do that very nice job diatone thanks guys <laughs>